Hey boys and girls, what we're going to do today is we are going to compare fractions with like denominators. And as we do this, I want you to really think about maybe a favorite pizza you have or a favorite cake that you have, okay? Because when we talk about these fractional parts, we really want to think about something that maybe we want and we want to think about how much of that would we want and so which would be greater or less. And so that's what we're going to work on today. So first of all, we are going to compare the fraction 3 fourths to the fraction 1 fourth. And we want to think about is 3 fourths greater than, equal to, or less than 1 fourth. Okay? So remember our numerators are the parts of whatever whole we're talking about. Like what parts are we specifically talking about? I'm talking about three out of the four parts or one out of the four parts. And then the fourths, the denominators, let us know the sizes of those pieces. So here we will be dealing with fourths and we'll be talking about three fourths versus one fourth. So let's represent three fourths. And so here I've broken it into four parts. So this is one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth. And I'm going to shade in three of those. Okay. I'm going to make another circle for one fourth and um, break it into four parts because our denominators are four. And I'm going to shade in one part of that. So it's really easy to look here and see that three fourths is greater than one fourth. So 3 fourths is greater than 1 fourth, okay? So if we are comparing fractions with like denominators, we know that both parts are going to be broken into four pieces, and then we have three pieces for 3 fourths and one piece or one part for 1 fourth. And so 3 fourths is greater than 1 fourth. Now, um, we're going to look at another one. So if this was a cake or a pizza, and I was trying to decide, would I rather have 3 fourths of a cake or pizza or 1 fourth? If I'm really hungry, I know I'm going to want 3 fourths because it's greater than 1 fourth. All right. So let's look at another example. But um, let's look at, let's deal with 2 six. And then let's look at five, six. Okay, so we're gonna put two, six here. We're gonna put five, six here. Now we wanna determine is two, six greater than, less than, or equal to five, six. Okay, so once again, I want you to think about a pizza or a cake that you like, a whole pizza, a whole cake. And I want you to think, would I rather have two, six of that pizza or five, six of that pizza? Okay, so think to yourself which one you think is larger, two, six, or five, six. All right, let's see if you are correct. So I'm going to start with a circle and I'm going to break it into six parts. So it, each part is one, six, one, six, one, six, one, six, one, six, one, six. We call those unit fractions. You talked about that earlier in the year. So two, six. All right, let's take another one of the same size. I'm breaking it into six parts. And now I'm going to look at five of those. So that's one, six, one, six, one, six, one, six, one, six, which together is five, six. All right. So now two, six is less than, greater than, or equal to five, six. And hopefully you said that five, six is greater than two, six, or the way you would read this would be two, six is less than five, six. Remember when it's to be able to know, like the reason I know this is less than is because I think of an L, a capital L, and I know it opens this way. So that's less than. If it opens the other way, this means greater than. OK, now um, one thing I do want to remind you is that when we're dealing with fractions. And we're comparing fractions, they have to be of the same size. So I could not compare this five six in this two six. I would have to say off the bat, hey, wait a minute, I can't compare a large pizza to a small pizza. They have to be the same size. So keep that in mind because if you see pictures or models that have the different sizes like that, then you have to be able to say, I can't compare that. They have to be of the, of the same size. All right, so now you're going to try some on your own comparing fractions with like denominators. Remember, the sizes of the parts are all the same. And so you really look at the numerator to determine which one is larger. Good luck.